Okay, today we're going to look at getting signed into our school Google account. I understand that some people are running into a little bit of difficulty, and I'm going to try to look at a couple of the different things that I've been seeing happening. So, first of all, when we begin, I'm going to recommend that you use the Chrome browser. Not required, but I'm going to recommend it, and most of the videos that we do are worked around the Chrome browser. But I'm going to go, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up the Chrome browser. I'm going to come over here. I also have it down on my taskbar to get to it quicker, but I'm going to come down here to Google Chrome and I opened up my Chrome browser. It went into my home page that I have set. And right now, if you look up in this corner, you can see a J and that stands for my name. If I click it, I can see that that I am presently logged in with my personal Google account, not my school Google account. I need to log in with my personal Google account. Most users I'm finding have already got a Google account, and in a lot of cases, that account automatically opens up. So let me show you how to add a school Google account if you already have a personal Google account kind of associated with your Chrome browser. So I'm going to go here, I'm going to click on this J, and I'm going to add another account. Okay, once again, I can click here, and I can go add here, or I can go here, same kind of thing, and I can go add another account. So I'm going to go here to the J, and I'm going to add. Now, I find this box pops up. I'm going to put, just going to put school. Just makes sense to me. You can name it whatever you want. Pick any picture you want, and I'm going to say add. Once you get to this screen, you're not going to get started because you already have a school Google account. So all you need to do is already a Chrome user. Okay, in this box, you're going to write your email address. So in this case, I'm going to use my school email address. Okay, put the at sign. HamtramicSchools.org. If you happen to be a student watching this video or the parent of a student watching this video, your email address would be your 700 number followed by the at sign students with an S after, after the T dot HamtramicSchools.org. Go ahead now. And I'm going to hit next. And I'm going to put in the same password I've been using uh, all school year. And I go ahead and hit next. Now, you're going to get this button, this uh, box, and it's going to ask you if you want to link data. I would suggest you do. I'm going to say, yes, I'm going to link data. Then I get another box that talks about turning on sync. I also suggest that you say, yes, you want to do that. What those two functions do is allows you to, it keeps track of your favorites and that type of thing. So if you go from your school computer to your home computer, or you go from your home computer to your laptop, or even a Chromebook, those things will follow you around. It will make your life easier in the long run. Now, if I hover over this now, you can see that I'm now logged in with my school Google account. I also have access to my personal Google, Google account still. I still have access to my personal one. I can flip-flop back and forth. There, I'm in my personal one. Now, I'm in my school one. Okay? Now, I also, once you're logged into your school Google account, please be aware that over here on the left in the bookmarks, you will have bookmarks related to whatever building you're assigned to. And that's helpful for, um, you know, information that you need. Okay? So now, let me go back. I'm going to go back to my personal account. Now, let's pretend that you're trying to start with a Google browser. It's a brand new, fresh one. Nobody has logged in. So it's going to look something like an incognito window. All right, it looks something like this. Now, I'm going to go to Google.com again. And in this case, when I come up here, there is no, no little num letter indicating that an account has been set up. So in this case, I'm looking at this Chrome browser and saying, gee whiz, nobody has logged in yet. So I want to go ahead and I'm going to set this one up. I'm going to click instead of adding an account, I'm just going to go sign in. 
This time it doesn't give me that box where I have to give it a name and that type thing. It just gives me the sign in account. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in. This time I'm going to sign in with a different school account. Okay, I'm going to sign in with this one. This is a this is a teacher account. I'm going to hit next. Oops. Oh, I see what the problem is. That was from a long time ago. Let me fix that. Okay, now it should work because I had that that I had to change it to Hamtramck Schools not org not Hamtramck.k12.mi. Now it's asking me for the password. Let me make sure I use the correct one. And now I'm logged into that account. If I come up here and I hover over this, it tells me that this is the Hamtramck Schools account. If I was not in an incognito window, I'd be able to look at multiple accounts, but I wanted you to see what it looks like when, when an account has not been logged into yet. So once again, I'm in this. If I click the waffles, I can go into my Google Drive, my Google Classroom. I can start a doc, whatever I need to do related to Hamtramck Public Schools. Now I'm going to close this window. I'm going to close this window and I'm going to close this window. Now let's do it one last time, but this time let's use a non-Chrome browser just so you can see that it works. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to open up Edge. Okay. Once again, I need to go to that Chrome or that Google uh, homepage. So I'm going to go to google.com. I'm going to hit enter. And once again, because I haven't been using this browser a lot, I need to sign in. So I'm going to click sign in and it wants me to choose an account. I can choose this one. I have used this in the past, but I'm going to do another account just to show you how it works. I'm going to do other account. This time I'm going to do a student account. Now this is not at HamtramckSchools.org. This is at students.HamtramckSchools.org. Once again, I'm going to hit next. Now I'm going to put in the password. I'm going to hit next. And I am now in, signed in. If I hover over the H, it tells me that it's a Google account, Hamtramck student, HPS student, shows me the email address. If I click here, um, I can go to Drive, I can go to Classroom, but one of the things that doesn't happen is I don't get those favorites like I get when I use my Chrome browser. That's why I like using the Chrome browser, and I recommend you use the Chrome browser, but you don't have to. I wanted to show you an example where we didn't. I can go into, uh, I'll go into Classroom, and we can see everything works the same. This student's enrolled in a class, and it all works the same. So. That's the way you get logged into your Chrome account for school. If you're, if you're running into problems, the very first thing I would do when you open up your Chrome browser is look and see who's logged in. Are you logged in with your school account? If you are, everything should be good to go and it should be working. If you're logged in with a non-school account like this one, you got to get into your school account. You either got to change down here or like we did a minute ago, hit that add button. Go in and add that school account. I hope this has been helpful. Uh, please, if you're having problems, reach out and we'll try to get you on the right track. And thank you very much for your time and your patience.